Welcome back to part two of the anatomy of the vertebra. In this lesson we're going to look at the lateral view of the vertebra. That is a look at the vertebra from the side. This is the view you would see if you were looking at an x-ray, a lateral view x-ray, and looking at the vertebral column. We are going to start by drawing in the structures that we looked at on the previous lesson, uh, looking at the top view. So if we start here, we need to draw a body and then a pedicle The laminae would be rather constricted from this view because, again, they're moving more into and out of the drawing, the plane of the drawing. So we just see a little bit of the lamina. And then we see a spinous process. and a transverse process. And again, the transverse process will be running into and out of the plane of the screen, so you'd see an outline as I've drawn here. So let me take a minute to label the structures we have in here. This is the body. Here is the pedicle. The lamina. The spinous process. and the transverse process. Now, in this lateral view, you'll notice that there are depressions in the pedicle on both the superior and the inferior surface. These are called notches. And we have 
the superior pedicle notch and the superior pedicle notch is on the superior surface of the pedicle and we have an inferior pedicle notch and the inferior pedicle notch as the name implies is on the inferior side of the pedicle. Now there are two more processes that I couldn't draw very well in the view from on top. These processes are called articular processes and there is one on the superior edge of the vertebra and one on the inferior edge of the vertebra. They are called the superior articular process and that would be on the superior surface of the vertebra and then we have an inferior articular process and then we have an inferior particular process on the inferior surface of the vertebra. Now the articular processes form a joint. They join the vertebra above and the vertebra below in a true synovial joint. The term articular means joint. So these literally are processes to form a joint between two bones. In the next video, we'll look at how two vertebra articulate together. Thank you for your attention.